everyone. Today is Wednesday, October 16th. I'm Pete Ferry. I'm Kimberly Moss. Andy Carson is in Northwest Portland this morning with a look at our first live local forecast. Good morning, Andy. Oh, good morning, guys. Yes, we're in the industrial district here this morning, and we're hanging out with some artists, and we're going to see some sculptors and some things that they're putting together, and it should be quite fascinating and quite fun, so stay tuned for four and a half hours of action-packed uh, excitement. As far as the weather's concerned, let's take a look at the uh, cycling forecast of the day today. All right. It is uh, 4.36, time to head back out to Northwest Portland. Andy Carson is going to sculpt a forecast for us, aren't you? <laughs> well, you, you know, you guys, uh, I want you to pay attention on this. I, I don't want you to go off and update your Facebook page while I'm doing the weather here, because I've got something cool to show you, okay? okay. Are you ready? Right. Yeah. All right. This is Julian, who is the artist, uh, the, the main artist extraordinaire that we're going to be talking to. One of his sculptures in process uh, right over there. We're going to find out more about this. But then we also have Josh right over here who helps out, does a lot of the welding. And Josh just says, look at this. And I'm like, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> so I wanted to show it to you real quick. What do you have uh, going on right here, Josh, this experiment that you have? Uh, basically, just this uh, surface coating that we're experimenting with is uh, hydrophobic, uh -huh. meaning it's uh, scared of water. So. It's scared of water. All right. Yeah, we did this little science experiment here, and uh, if, you, if you take water or any like type of like fluid or anything, it uh huh, it just goes away from it, yeah, and then it's 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 all sitting right there on top of it too. Yeah, it sits inside a little square that we didn't coat the. Uh, Metal with. That's crazy. Huh. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Look at that. It's it's so uh, this is this is something that could eventually then be on on a sculpture and you'll you'll make more art out of oh, it. Oh yeah, right? I'm definitely gonna use this. Yeah. As soon as we found out, we were like, yeah. yeah can I, can I touch it? Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Radioactive water. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> I have to put my finger in it. Radioactive water. <laughs> I won't drink that. So, uh, <laughs> is, is it hard getting stuff done with this guy goofing around all the time? No, it's, it's great. That's okay. exactly what we want, what we want to do here. All right, good. Well, we're gonna find out more about this. We'll find out about these guys and what they do here throughout the morning. Let's go Super right cool, now to right? the temperatures. That that we have around the metropolitan area this morning, 40s. That is a look at your weather. And, and Tony, uh, you you might guess these guys uh, weren't necessarily originally artists, sculptures. They had other careers uh, beforehand. We'll find I'm out about sure. that as well. well and I'm not sure what you did there. It's the blob. It's the blob. Okay, yes, uh -huh. Tony? Well, I mean, so hydrophobic, you could spray that on your <laughs> shoes, your handbag, you know, anything you want to repel or your, your kids. My kids were hydrophobic yeah, the kids, for years, yeah, yeah. and they wouldn't yeah. bathe. I'll <laughs> I was going to use it like a, like a sunscreen and then jump in the pool and see what happens. Exactly. With technology yeah. like that, we could, dare I say it, rule the world. <laughs> <laughs> we could. <laughs> so steal the secret recipe and get back here as quick as you can. All right, let's get back to Andy Carson in Northwest Portland. Hi, Andy. Oh, good morning, guys. I'm um, with Julian right now, who is a sculptor that we're going to be hanging out with here throughout the morning. Now, briefly, I want to give uh, a, a view of the uh, current piece that you're working on. And you see it from that side, and then you go around to the side. And we'll talk about this and some other things you're working on. But, Julian, you didn't start out doing this. What did you start out doing? Well, my background is in physics. That's, okay. that's what I learned. What I trained as. Um, when I came to the U.S., I switched from physics to art. Uh huh. And and it, any particular reason? Because uh, art artists are more fun. That's one big reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot more fun. Uh -huh. And also, it's just you know what what was the natural uh, continuation from physics for me. There you it's go. about like looking at stuff and enjoying it and being passionate about nature. Well, well, well good. I, I'm fascinated just by this one particular piece that you have. We'll find out more about that and some others that you've been working on uh, throughout the morning here. So stay tuned for that. And those loud noises that I hear, don't be alarmed, right? All right, I'm fine. Correct. Okay, let's go right now to uh, the tents that we have around the Northwest this morning. And so, Julian, I hear noises going on over there, and you're not making those noises. What's going That's on over there? We share this building with a, with a rebar company, and they're really loud and start early. Okay. <laughs> well, that just adds to the fun this morning, Tony. <laughs> you know, uh, Andy, between uh, your wife and Pete Ferryman being the exceptions, I think you're talking to the smartest person you've ever met in your life this morning. Oh, yeah. I yeah, that, I'm quite sure. Of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When the physics wasn't working out, I go. I went to art. What a what a brilliant guy. I can't wait to see more of this. Yeah, and, and you just displayed your lack of intelligence <laughs> by including me in that sentence. I'm <laughs> bottom of the list, brother. Yeah. No doubt about it. Yeah. So Andy Carson's in Northwest Portland this morning with our first live local forecast. Good morning, Andy. Oh, good morning, guys. Yeah, we're in this big industrial building where we have rebar being rebarred over there. And then we have artists working on a, a sculpture right here. And uh, we're going to find out uh, more about that through the morning. Let's go right now, though, to the Outfitter's Guide for the Day. All right, coming up on 508, let's turn back to Andy Carson, who is in northwest Portland this morning. Andy, what are you smiling about? Oh. 
Oh, uh, because I'm, I'm laughing because Mike and I stand around and we talk and he does this. And we actually have workers right over here. Uh, we have a couple of artists working on this sculpture. And uh, Julian is over there working away. In fact, Mike, can we sneak over here uh, real quick? So, Julian, this piece that you're working on, how yeah. long have you been working on this piece? Well, we've been, um, it's been here for, gosh, how long? Like, uh, it's, the design phase was pretty long, half a year maybe, and then and now it's been in the shop for another several months. We stopped working on it for a while, so... I don't know. Yeah. I, 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 I haven't looked at my box. <laughs> Sounds like an artist. I don't know. Yeah, we're working on it. So it, this thing is going to, I, we see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about a dozen uh, yes. layers here. How much wider is it going to get? Uh, well, it's basically, uh, as you can see, the whole base plate will be covered with, with these kind of slices. Uh -huh. So the whole figure will be... Um, you know, uh, de defined by those slices. Okay, and then and then this is a, a woman that you have right here, yes. and then there's going to be another part of this, right? That's right. The woman will be sitting on one end of the plaza, and a man in the same position will be sitting 60 feet away on the other end. Gotcha. And so where is looking this, at each other. Where is this going to end up? This is going to be uh, to going to go to a new to a new f uh, physics and nanotech building at the University of Minnesota. There you go. Yeah. He does stuff like that all over the place. So uh, so Pete, I know you've got some some empty. Uh, uh, space there at your estate, you might want to talk to Julian about helping to fill that out a little bit. <laughs> you could get a picture. You could get a picture of me at one side and of Tony at the other it, side. You know, your pool house could use those sculptures. Yeah. This, uh, could, this, this entire could. conversation is so far off the mark on so many different levels. <laughs> I, I, I won't even uh, we're validate having it with so a comment. Much fun. We're having yeah. so much fun. Yeah. Too. <laughs> Just let us go with it. Yeah. We'll, we'll go with it, yeah. Let's go to uh, the temperatures that we have right now around the northwest this morning. 40s. That is your weather. Another look here before we go to Mr. Martinez for a look at traffic. Tony? All right, Andy, thank you very much. Up to Washington we go, Van. Uh, yeah. okay. All right, that happens. Right out there. Andy, that, that happens sometimes. Like if there's a construction, uh, you know, project mm -hmm. near your home or whatever, it yeah. kind of... It disrupts things. It disrupts things, yeah. and they may scurry yeah. into your house. Yeah. So. I, I, hope, I hope all the noise from the rebar factory doesn't do that. Yeah, yeah. I, I hope the rats all <laughs> stay right <laughs> yeah. over there. Uh, I, I'm with uh, Julian once again, the, uh, the artist here putting the sculpture together. Now, I've worked with other artists, and, and they have have the phrase, oh, happy mistake. Oh, that's okay, we can fix this. I'm guessing that's not what you're dealing with here, is it? Well, it's, it's, it's a good question. I mean, what I work a lot with the computer, of course, but um, the computer has gotten so complex that there is such a thing as happy mistakes. Really? You know? It's almost like chisel and brush these days, because uh, just computers you know, have evolved so much, and it has exploded what we can do now. So how much prep work did you do on a computer, on a program, before you even started cutting any everything. metal here? How much time did in, you spend? In this case, everything. Months. Months of that. Months, yeah. Wow. So you're it just... goes through like literal sculpting phase. I start with a, with a human body. Uh -huh. And I, I put different elements together. And I sculpt in a very traditional way, only virtually. I use like, I scrape stuff off, you know, and, and put stuff on as if it was a clay base. And, and wait till you see his swanky office. It's <laughs> right up there. That's it's, where all that that's, happens. That's yeah. nice. You, you've got it all set up here. Yeah. It's it's rough. It's raw. It's good times, and uh, it's fun to see these guys at work. Let's go right now to the uh, temperatures that we have up at uh, Mount Hood at this hour. And now let's go to Tony for traffic. He strikes me as as a man who is uh, one mechanical monster away from being the new Doc Ock for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> he has that mad so. genius kind of uh, sense yes. to him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But what what fun! This is a, I really get a kick out of watching this this morning. Let's check in with Andy Carson now. Uh, he, he's getting, you know, all artsy on us now. But, but, oh, it, yeah. but it involves like heavy metal, so uh, it's okay. It, Your it masculinity does. is intact. You're, you're doing well. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. And and they're working on a beautiful piece right here of uh, what looks to be a lovely woman. Uh, so it's it's a, it's a very fun time here this morning. Uh, we'll talk more with Julian, who is the master behind this project, as well as many other sculptures that he's working on. Let's go right now to the uh, cycling forecast today. For those. I think the only thing that, that might rival it is being like, like a cool sculptor. There you go. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. You or know, a cool you know sculptor eating breakfast. Here, this, this, this is what I'm seeing this morning. Uh, Julian and I are very much alike. We're, we're tall, we're handsome, uh, we have a great accent, and we're artists. And then they, we have the worker right there, Mike, and you have your worker, Josh, right over there, right? We stand around and eat and watch them do the work. It's about the vision. <laughs> it's about the vision, uh, my friend. Oh the my vision. Gosh. <laughs> Mike so Heinrich. Speaking of vision. <laughs> go, go over there and just, just punch him in the arm. Uh, walk right over there, punch him in the arm. Thank you.
Okay, proceed, yes, Mr. Carson. Yes. Okay, yes. So this this uh, artwork that you have right now, um, we you, you've been working on it. How many hours a day do you think you typically will work on this, you and Josh? It's it really depends. Usually there's some some project coming up that, that goes in the in, in the way, and then it's it's basically it depends on the deadline. It's it's a multitude of things. So are you but the type up of to five to eight hours? Basically. Okay. Are you yeah. the type of person that you'll kind of go along and then you're on the deadline and suddenly you're working you know 18 hours a day to get it, or do no. you have everything scheduled I have out? Everything scheduled. Out you, you are. Yeah. He's on top of things uh, in that way. So that's neat. And you oh I, he just did the little weld thing. Do I need to look away from that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> As Mike goes over there to, to look at it. Line, yes, yeah. it is. I'll try not to look at that and ruin my retinas here this morning. Let's go right now to the uh, temperatures that we have around. All right, let's get back to Andy Carson now, who is in northwest Portland. Andy? Yes, good morning, guys. I'm with Julian right here, a sculptor that's uh, working on this uh, piece of art. Now, you, you have a number of layers right here. Are those more layers right over there that you're going to yeah, add exactly. to that? Yeah, exactly. Those are more parts. There's a total of over 60 parts. Wow. Yeah. And, and so, and, and this... 845 of those pins. <laughs> How much will this thing weigh, do you think, when you're finished? Um, well, I calculate that. Um, I think it's about 1,500 pounds. Okay. So, uh... I'll help you move it when it comes time. All right, I'll, I'll get it in the back of the pickup truck for you there. Let's go right now to uh, the temps that we have around the northwest this morning. And that is your weather. Another look at this vantage point, Tony, uh, as we uh, go to traffic. Tony. If you're cold, maybe Andy Carson can warm you up with a welder's torch or something. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> don't get too close. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm trying to get close to uh, the, the Walter Storch going on here this morning. Uh, yes, we're with some uh, sculptures here, industrial area right here in northwest Portland, and uh, they're putting together this amazing piece of art. We're going to show you some of the other projects he's working on as well here during this hour. Right now, I would like to uh, show you the outfitter's guide for the day today. And All right, let's uh, rotate to uh, northwest Portland. That is where Andy Carson is this morning, uh, giving us an mm -hmm. interesting look at uh, art. Yes, and, and how it all comes together is uh, pretty fascinating. I'm with Julian right here, the artist, and uh, this is the piece that you're currently working on at this point in time, uh, but you're, you're not just making it up as you go. There are a lot of uh, plans involved. What do we have um, right right there, first of all? So that's a printout of, of one side view of her. Mm -hmm. um, basically, check check if everything looks right uh, to get a sense for the size and the scale. Okay, and then over to the left, we have a, a smaller version. What are these different things that we see uh, highlighted here, the, the different numbers and things of that nature. Well, that's basically to guide us through the assembly of the whole piece. Um, you can imagine if we mirror one of the slices, it would still go on, but it would be total disaster. So it's basically taken care of that we know where exactly the how many um, holes and how many dowels are, and uh, every slice is, is numbered and every part is numbered, so we know exactly where we are. Okay, so so if you could uh, put that all together for me, I'll make my own. Is that all right? That's exactly right. <laughs> that's totally do. fine. And then and then I like this that you have on this whiteboard. Yeah. Are, are these? Is that like a little grocery list you have there? That's a grocery list. Exactly. Okay. The top's grocery list. The bottom is a list for on another piece we will be we are working on right now. Which stuff we need to fix? Okay. To do. It says Diane. Right there. Do you yeah. have do you have a name for this sculpture? Yes. Uh, well, that's, she's just the Minneapolis female. The Minneapolis that's, that's, female. That's her name. Uh, or she. I, I like Diana's under wraps out back there. Oh, we'll look at Diana, but I, yeah. I kind of like the sound of Kim. Kim. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Sure. Why not? Hey, hey. We're going with Kim. Hey, Andy. Impossible. Andy. Yes. Yes, Pete. That sculpture's on display every morning right here in Good Day, Oregon. What are you oh, talking about? I know. I know. Couldn't sculpt it any better. Oh, thanks, yeah. Pete. Uh, there we go. Uh, thank you very much. I'm going to jump right into a little weather here. Right. Cool stuff to see here. Let's go to the temps that we have. 617 is the time. Time to head back to northwest Portland and see what Andy Carson is creating for us now. Uh, well, I'm not creating anything. Julian's the man creating, and you saw you saw Kim earlier. Uh, but uh, this is a, a piece that you have been working on for a while. Explain this one to me. Well, this is just a, a, a negative of a, of a female figure. Okay, standing uh, on her head. Standing on her head, exactly, and made out of parts. And what I did is basically, when what I originally had intended to do didn't work out, I filled her with nails all the way up. And, and filled with water. And so I was hoping to rust them together, eventually have a fig figure out of nails. So you would you would have that, and then you would undo all of this, and then you would have that rusted figure yeah, in nails. But exactly. it, didn't, it didn't work. It didn't quite it. work out. It's been in the water for about five years now. Uh -huh. I opened it last week, and it looks like down there there's not enough oxygen. So we need to put some 
some chemical by which I have to figure out into the water, maybe something that oxidizes it, uh -huh. and then supply enough local oxygen to get this thing pulled <laughs> off in the next five years. Next five years. After five years, you open it, you're like, oh, rats, I Who gotta knows? start over. That's yeah. the fun of it, right? It, it is the fun of it. Uh, so, and, and then we have another sculpture we'll show off coming up in the next half hour right here that's quite beautiful as well. Let's go right now, but this one worked out. <laughs> yes. The other one is, is still in project. Uh, the attempts that we have up at... Now, let's go to Tony for traffic. So we've got one lady uh, in sections. This one's on her head with nails. The women don't yeah. seem to fare too well in his art pieces out there, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, they're, they're, they're just... Uh, they're very, they're very talented. They ah, can do a lot of things. Part yes. of the vision. Part of the vision. All right, well, it was a blast watching all this this morning. Thanks for bringing that to us. Sandy Carson joins us now with our first live local forecast. He's in northwest Portland. Hi, Andy. That's right. Uh, good morning, guys. Hanging out with a sculpture here this morning, an amazing artist named Julian. And uh, we'll show you what's behind this uh, carpet here, or this, uh, this, this magic rug coming up here in just a few minutes. Right now, though, let's uh, talk about the cycling forecast for the day today. It is going to be a... Thanks, Kate. Yeah, we want to uh, head to North Northwest Portland, right? Yeah, let's get to Andy Carson now with our forecast. Oh yes, and with the Julian the sculptor, and we have we have this under wraps. Uh, is is this uh, piece complete? It's not complete, no. But we're working on the finishing touches, basically. All right, let's uh, let's so, take this off and see what we have here. And boom, there we. Oh my, yeah. <laughs> it's missing clothes. <laughs> but, yeah, now, after what, we unwrapped her. <laughs> what, what, what is, the, where is this going to go? Uh, this is going to a gallery in Palm Desert, California. Uh -huh. And so we're just about to finish up some minor things and put a new finish on her. And, and how long did this take to put together? Oh, uh, months. Really? Yeah. It, it's just, and, and then did, did they come to you and you uh, with a vague idea and then you put this together? No, or how in did this that work? case, I made a smaller version and this, she developed from that smaller version. Mm -hmm. So she was about five and a half feet tall and so she's like seven feet tall. Really? Uh -huh, yeah. yeah. I'm about five and a half feet tall. Can you make me seven foot tall? I sure yeah. can. Yeah, he can. He yeah. can do it. Uh, we, he actually uh, has a cool website and we have a link to his website on our website, kptv.com. Check out some of your other artwork and things of that nature. And in a little while we're going to go up in your office, which right. is cool. Uh, let's go right now to the temperatures that we have around the metropolitan area here this morning. Almost like a sculpture. Almost. Yeah. yeah. Almost. Let's get to Andy Carson now. You, you got any oarfish uh, sculptures there, uh, Andy? Uh, I think that's a reef. <laughs> Probably somewhere. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll look. We'll find out. Julian right here. What do we have? What is this sculpture that we have right here? This is a sculpture um, inspired by the structure of the collagen molecule. Okay. You know, the stuff that we have in our ligaments and tendons and skin to make give a structure, basically, our bodies. Okay. So yeah. uh, that's, that's in me, then? That's, it's, it is, basically, yeah. <laughs> And to emphasize the structural aspects, I kind of did these cutouts so it looks like contemporary steel structure. Wow. I did this right out of college in 2005. Wow. Yeah. So you, you did that right out of college. Yeah. Now, is this, is this your... the first piece I welded in my garage. Is, is this your own uh, collection then, or is this... Uh, it it will it? go on temporary display now, but it's in my collection. Where yeah. is it going to go on display? Um, here in Portland. Okay. Yeah. Uh, where, where can they check it out? Um, it's, uh, it's Pittman's Edition. I forgot how it's exactly called. Oh, okay. Well, we, we'll, we'll get to that. Will you have other pieces there as well or is this the one that you know th that's the one they just said yeah this is this is neat and you did this a number of years ago and it's right. standing the test of time uh, it it's fun just to walk around and see some of the different uh, sculptures that he has here and then um, uh, how it all comes together is pretty amazing too and you were just involved in a, uh, a sizable grant and we'll discuss that coming up in the next sure. hour okay right. uh, let's go right now to uh, the temperatures we have around the Northwest here this morning Andy Carson is in northwest Portland with our first live local forecast. Good morning, Andy. Oh, good morning, guys. Yeah, we're in, a, uh, in the industrial area here, and uh, we have a couple of uh, sculptures, artists over here uh, working behind me, all kinds of cool projects. We're going to take you uh, around and show you a little bit of their life here on this uh, fine Wednesday morning. Bundle up as you go out there. The Outfitter's Guide for the day today uh, calling for uh, at least a jacket. This Let's turn to Andy. Carson now. He's in Northwest Portland with our forecast. Andy? Yep. Uh, I'm with Julian right here, who's the uh, the artist, the sculpture. And I found this just over in the corner. It was all dusty, and, and I thought, well, this is cool. Tell us about this piece that we have right here. This was the first piece I ever made that was in the slice style. Uh -huh. It was in uh, 2007, and there's a larger version of that same one in stainless at the Muriel Museum of Art. Gotcha. 
So I look at it, and I'm a runner, and I and I see I see somebody that's uh, perhaps running right there. Is, right. It, is that what you're going with, or what yeah, would you go running with? Running for sure. I'm a physicist, and I see a, 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 a quantum object moving through space with um, quantum waves, you know, perpendicular to the direction of motion. That's where the idea comes from. And I, I think and I saw many directions. And I saw a, a red guy running. <laughs> I, I like it. It's neat. So why is it just sitting over in the corner collecting dust? This you should, know, this should just, be shown somewhere. I know. I have, I have so many pieces. I just haven't gotten around to I'll give you 20 with. bucks for it right now. 20. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay. 25. Uh, oh, 25. <laughs> it's a deal. All right. That, that, that would look great there at my house. Uh, let's go right now to uh, the temperatures that we have. Our lows will be dropping down into the uh, low to mid 40s all the way through. That is your weather. And Tony, yes. did, is this what you saw too? Yeah. Well, I'm a traffic reporter, so what I see is a line of row of cars backed up, and none can get their way to go as quickly as they want to go because of the, you know, the bottleneck that they're facing ahead of time. So, yeah, that's gotcha. what I see. All right. But again, I'm not a physicist. What do I know? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is great stuff. We're having such a blast watching this uh, down there this morning. So uh, keep it coming there, Andy. Uh, All right, 718. Let's turn back to Andy Carson now with our forecast. Wait till you see this and wait till you hear how it was made. I have the artist Julian with me right here. We have a link to his website, our website, kptv.com. What do we have here, my friend? Well, that's that's one of my earlier uh, pieces, uh, figurative pieces, and I made it by making a rapid prototyping a tiny little mold of a female pregnant girl, basically, and um, I filled that with shaving cream, and I brought it to Switzerland to a synchrotron facility where they did an x-ray analysis of the 3D structure, so we could see each of the bubbles of the shaving cream. Actually, that was the first version. That's the polyurethane. That's like the window stuff, you know, the insulation uh -huh. foam. That's this one. Um, and uh, then I basically got the data and then turned it into cutting instructions for laser cutting. So all each of these uh, thin slices is laser cut and then weld together. <laughs> this seems like it must have taken years to put together with all of that. The putting together was, was only was pretty pain free compared uh -huh. to the to the actual computer time. Right. The design was took took literally I think probably a thousand hours because I had to trace each of these bubbles by hand because to turn it into a, from a pixel into a vector type of file. Okay. What, so that was insane. What, one more question, that, and I don't know if you can answer this or not. What, what kind of shaving cream was it? Is it a... Gillette. Gillette, okay. Yeah, thanks for asking. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> let's go right now to the... Uh, it's the closest uh, shave you can get, I think. Uh, let's go right now to the temps we have. They're up. We'll be in the low to mid 40s. That is a look at your weather. And Tony, this thing is so <laughs> fragile. It's, it's, it's amazing just to see them uh, put this up for us. And it really is cool. And thanks to Mike for, for uh, you know, shooting it so that we can see how you, know, you sort of see more of it and then less of it. It kind of moves as you're looking at it. That's really cool. Yeah. I'd love to see what he could do with slicing a loaf of bread because <laughs> he's, he's chopping everything <laughs> in sight, that looks like. Uh, on we go to the... And it's time for your first live local forecast. Let's check in with Andy Carson. Oh, good morning, guys. Yes, we're right here in the industrial area here in the uh, northwest Portland, and uh, we're in the office of uh, Julian, who's right there. Uh, we will find out more about uh, what happens, the magic that happens up here in his office as he sculpts together some amazing pieces of art. But right now, let's talk about the uh, forecast for those of you heading out there. All right, let's get back to Andy Carson in northwest Portland at 737. Andy? Oh, thank you, Kim. Right out there, you remember the sculpture that we first uh, showed you at the beginning of the program uh, that they've been working on for uh, just uh, months? Uh, right in here, we're up in the Julian's office, and right here on the computer, you have a, a rendering of what this eventually will look like? Yeah. Here you can see how she moves. That's the view where she disappears, uh -huh. and then that's how, it's how she starts appearing. So, so you had this put together a long time ago, oh, yeah. uh, to, so you could have that in vision, then you put Absolutely. it down there. Absolutely. And this eventually is going where? This will be going to the University of Minnesota in uh -huh. Minneapolis. And and was there was there some uh, some uh, talking back and forth about the final design, or yes. did they just say, Julian, tell us what you want <laughs> and you do it? No, there was some. I had a, uh, basically they chose me out of four people because they liked my background and what I've been doing. And then I had a very clear idea what I wanted to do. And then there was some back and forth about the the details. Right. 
but it was essentially clear we want to make you know a human figure based right piece so so you have that and then that's just half the equation there's going to be a, a guy at that's the right. other side that's and right. uh, they'll be uh, now will they be rotating no, they won't, the, okay. but you can rotate around them. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> if you want it to rotate, you have to yeah, do this around exactly. them. Uh, no, the, the point is they're looking at each other in, in the direction where they disappear is exactly the direction of their gaze. Mm. So if you go through their side of, uh, uh, line of sight, they disappear on you on both sides, basically. I love it. Let's go right now to the temperatures that we have around the metropolitan area this morning. 747 now, time for our first live local forecast. Here's Andy Carson. Oh, thank you guys with uh, Julian right here now. Uh, just to let people know, you are a sculptor right now, but you have not always been a sculptor. What were you doing before that? My background is in physics. Okay. Yeah. And, and you just are, are involved in a group of people that got a grant, and perhaps right. your background helped with that. Tell us about that grant. It did, yeah. I'm actually, that's the first time I, I'm kind of back into science to some degree. Um, we uh, received a grant from the National Science Foundation together with scientists from Caltech and um, uh, New York University and uh, mathematicians from St. Michael's. College and so we're interested in researching DNA origami it's called basically using DNA to build self-replicating mini machines nano machines that's the goal and really? I'm kind of the 3d visualization guy you, you put that together and, and and then eventually who knows what happens from there exactly yeah. <laughs> we have the grant for two years and it's a two million dollar grant so there you There'll go. be some interesting work being done. That'll buy a lot of Oreos. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, man. Uh, let's go right now to the uh, temps that we have around the Northwest here this morning. That is your weather. Now, Tony, you look at this right here, and, and do you see anything in particular? Gold. <laughs> I uh, see gold. What, 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 what is this? And coincidentally, oh, it just came up there, a, on there. What is this, Julian? Well, that's a sculpture I made using data from physicists in 93 they did an experiment which was very well known where they took single atoms and placed them on a very clean copper surface and each of these cone is one atom and it's 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 imaged that way and and they arrange them in a circle and makes these amazing waves in the center which are actual quantum mechanical matter waves mm. and so that's why this is intri huh. in very intriguing to me and i had the desire to make this piece y you know it's so cool to hear him talk but sometimes i wonder if he's just making stuff up <laughs> <laughs> me too because you know what i was going to say uh, cleopatra's ashtray so i was probably way off <laughs> on that one there no, that is gorgeous beautiful beautiful yeah. stuff and, and what a blast to see all this this morning it's been a lot of fun watching all this and more to come Andy Carson's in Northwest Portland with our forecast. Good morning, Andy. Oh, good morning, guys. It's art all taking place right there behind me. Uh, Julian uh, doing his magic here. Uh, let's go right now to the Outfitters Guide for the day today. And 806 at the time. Andy Carson standing by with our first live local forecast. Andy? Oh, yeah, thanks, guys. Uh, I'm learning so much from Julian here. You guys are, are have been working, making sparks over here. What's, what's the process that's taking place? Well, basically, the, the, uh, every well they need to clean up, so we kind of, kind of sand it down and then polish it again so it looks pristine again. Um, so every connection has the, this process of, of, of welding and sanding and polishing. It's in the detail. It's all oh, in the absolutely. detail. Yes. Yeah. Uh, let's go right now. By the way, if you want to find out some more about the Julian and his artwork, we have a link at our website, kptv.com, to his website. Uh, really cool stuff on there. Let's go right now to the temps we have around the Northwest this morning. Down into the 40s. That is look at your weather. And Tony, I'm thinking we need more sparks on this show. I like having sparks. <laughs> hey, I don't know if, if uh, Julian is still uh, right there at hand. And I know it's awkward to have me ask you a question on our behalf, but it's just no curious it, from a parent standpoint. Uh, that, you know, physicist and artist, two really oh, yeah, kind of divergent right. careers. Had he always loved them both, like, as a kid, or was one, yep. like, yep. the clear favorite? He's he started off painting, and uh -huh. uh, and then he went into the physicists, and and, and then he uh, it made its way into the uh, sculpting and comes together uh -huh. and in a in a magical piece. It's 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 fascinating yeah. to get to hang out with this guy throughout the morning. Yeah, we really can tell he's like a really interesting person. But I mean, for kids who are kind of planning a career, and I mean, there's so much mm -hmm. you can do with life. So uh, wonderful to see oh, that yeah. this morning. Uh, out we go to the free. Eight fifteen. Let's return to Northwest Portland, where Andy Carson has our first live local forecast. Hi, Andy. Tim, you'll never guess what I just did. What'd you do? I helped. Oh. Yes. And you didn't. Was, he, and you he, didn't ruin anything or make a mess. Uh, I not yet anyway. Okay. Yeah. You, you see. Oh, now I have to look away. Now I can't show you because the bright light just came <laughs> on. Uh, but yes, the the, uh, the sculpture. They just put another uh, layer there on the uh, on the right side of the sculpture. Just put it up there. And um, he needed a chunk of metal, and and I found it on the ground for him and gave it to him. So yeah. I, I feel like I'm contributing here. 
finally. Uh, let's go right now to the temperatures that we have. Up towards Mount Hood, 39 degrees. That is the, uh, a look at your weather. Oh, I did it again. Just as I looked, that light came on, Tony. I might need somebody to help me walk home. <laughs> I think this is the most fun you've had at a live shot without having food involved that I can remember. I know. <laughs> I, I brought my own lunch. <laughs> you know what's funny, too, about art is that a lot of times you'll see some art somewhere and you go, ah, I could do that. This, uh -huh. not even no. entering mm. the possibility of possibilities. Yeah. No, I, I can barely take a picture of it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, gorgeous stuff. And looking forward to seeing more of that as the morning continues. Right now, let's get to Andy Carson for the forecast. Oh, thank you guys. Uh, we are uh, hanging out here in an artist's studio, believe it or not, as we're watching them put together this sculpture. They've been working on it for months, and they have more to go. Let's go right now to the cycling forecast for the day today. And 8.37 is the time. Andy Carson's in northwest Portland. And uh, Andy, another beautiful forecast on tap. It is a beautiful forecast, and we're also watching uh, Julian working on this uh, beautiful uh, sculpture that we have right here. Now, you guys just put a new, I guess, layer onto yeah. this, and you have this string hanging down and a weight at the bottom. What, what is that telling That's you? That's a plumb line. What, what we do is basically we have to, like, juggle different parameters, and they all need to be as good as we can. And one of them is, of course, the direction of gravity, and that's what this denotes. Okay. And, um, it gives us a really good hint for the eye if it's warping or if it's leaning. Gotcha. But then and there's other things like the internal warp, and we kind of counter everything at the same time. And, and it's, a, it's a very complex process. And then you have these things that connect it. So some of them are sticking out for the next layer right. that's coming exactly. on, and some you're connecting on there. And how are you uh, uh, connecting those? What we do is basically we, they're all pl plug welded. So we uh, have to put the pins in for the slice that goes on facing away, as you mentioned. And then we and then we do the plug weld on the on the old slice um, and clean that up. So basically, we try to avoid getting into a situ situation where we can't clean up anymore. Uh -huh. So it's, it goes outward. <laughs> Got to think ahead as you're exactly. doing this. And, yeah. and what's what's so fun is he's working with all the elements. So sometimes the sun's there and he's trying to look through and block the sun and look through and put it all together. So uh, a master indeed. Let's go right now to the temps that we have around the metropolitan area as he gets back to work with uh, with his uh, uh, associate right over there. It is currently 38 degrees. That is a look at your weather. Now, let's go to Tony. All right, Andy, back out to 80. All right, let's get back to Andy now in Northwest Portland. Andy? Oh, thank you. We're Julian. One last time here as uh, we're working on this, this particular piece of art. Now, you started on this last November? Yeah. And uh, you're hoping to have this entire project finished by when? By April 2014. Okay. And when the snow is gone to Minneapolis. Okay, going to Minneapolis. Yeah. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is, the, this is uh, one part of it, which is a beautiful woman, and then you're going to have a guy at the other side. Right. You've spent so much time on her. He'll be a snap, right? Exactly. You guys are always easier. That's correct. <laughs> Our own little joke there. Uh, so uh, how many different projects will you be juggling at a time? Well, it depends really on the situation, but, but typically around three or four in the shop and maybe another 10 or so on the computer. Uh, it's, it's, it's been really fun and, and cool to, uh, to watch this in progress. You can go to uh, his website to see more. Uh, we have a link at our website, kptv.com. It'll get you right to Julian's website. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, I'll let you get Thank back you. to uh, your work right there. Right. And I'll take care of a little bit of weather information here this morning.